What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys the Super Bowl from my very first season on Head to Head Seasons for Madden 25 Ultimate Team. So, it's been a long season. I have been undefeated all the way up to the Super Bowl, and I'm excited to finally have a chance to play for that trophy. Hopefully, going to be able to give you guys a win here, but we'll see what happens. Let's go! Let's take a look at my opponent's team, and oh my goodness. Yeah, it's one of these teams. Ugh. You know, when you see something like this, and it's like, you're finally in the Super Bowl, and you get matched up against a team like this, I mean, he literally has the best player at almost every single position that was in the game at this point in time. You know, obviously, as you guys are watching this now, there have been some of the positional collection cards that have surpassed these ones, but... At the time that we played, this was about the best team that you could possibly create in this game. After the game, I actually went back and just calculated the cost that it would have been to build this team. Uh, at the current time, I think we calculated that it was something like 4.2 million coins to build this team. So anyways, we'll see what happens. Opening kickoff, he boots it high in the air and I was a little bit confused at that. Nothing really came of it here. I just get tackled, but, you know, that's always a concern when somebody does some weird tactic like that on the first play of the game. Moving on to offense, though. First play for me, Chris Johnson off the left side, and Brian Arakpo just swallows us up in the backfield. Unbelievable block shed. But let's see if the, he can make it happen again here. Let's give the ball to QB Walter. Woo! Spin move. Gets out of the way here. Moves it down the field. Third and one now. Feeling pretty good. Let's try that read option one more time. Hand it to Chris Johnson and Troy Palamalu makes a great play in the backfield. And we're forced to punt. Giving it to them on offense now. And it's Adrian Peterson taking the carry on the Wildcat formation. 17 yards for him on his first play on offense. Very next play, he takes advantage of a press from Brent Grimes. Goes over the top to Jerry Rice. And it's very quickly 6-0. I am not feeling this. I am not happy about what's happening. I get the ball back, Chris Johnson stumbles over a fallen Deion Sanders, and again, I just, I'm, I'm starting to feel like there's maybe something that's just not going to happen for me in this game. I'm, I'm definitely worried at this point. I'm not able to do anything on offense, and, and my defense was just ugly. And again, he's just swallowing me up in the backfield no matter what play I'm doing. Lawrence Taylor that time eats me up in the backfield. Now he's going to go over the top here again, and Deion Sanders... Oh, come on, prime time. That should be yours, dude. Come on. I know you're you're not going to be able to get the interception every time, but the non-pick came back to bite us in the ass because he went over the top again to Jerry Rice for another touchdown, and he's now up 14-0 very early in this one, the start of the second quarter, essentially. And again, I'm, I'm just not able to do anything on offense here. I'm, I'm trying to mix up my play calling. Finally, I'm able to get a first down here with Vernon Davis. That was my first first down of the game, and it came in the second quarter. I started to get some sort of offense going here. Walter Payton breaking some tackles, getting down the field. Three rushes for 25 yards now at this point, so I was getting a little bit more confident, but very quickly again, he's able to take me down in the backfield, able to stop the read option. So we're going to try and hit him here with another screen, and he just he saw it coming, playing the man defense. My guys aren't getting separation. I'm not able to find any guys open. Third and 17 now, and Alshon Jeffrey drops a pass that likely would have been a first down. And, you know, we're starting to feel like there just may not be an opportunity for us in this one. I'm not even going to lie. I, I kind of I kind of felt the, the pressure to rage quit. But it was about that point in time when I finally made a play on defense. Big hit there in the backfield by Marcel Darius. He takes down Steve Young. Elvis Dumerville nearly carried that one into the end zone, but it wasn't a big deal because the next play, we finally get into the end zone. And I'm thinking maybe we're finally going to be able to get some momentum going. Ensuing kickoff, though, nope. Throw me a freaking bone here. Horrible, 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 horrible user skills there by me. And uh, he's able to carry this one in for another touchdown. 21-7, and I need to score before halftime. I cannot be down two scores going into the half because he gets the ball. Amazing one-handed grab there by Trendon Holiday that keeps the drive going. Chris Johnson now takes the ball, and he's going to go out of bounds after a nice gain. Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert, class. 
Oh gosh. Oh, trying to throw on the run while getting hit. QB Walter just lofts it up, and it's an easy pick six. 28 to 7 now with 22 seconds left in the half. I'm gonna try and just get something going here. Come on, you! You're gonna have to sit in the dunce chair. Another pick six on back-to-back -back plays. 35 to 7 now. It is getting very, very ugly. It's looking like the real Super Bowl that we had this past year between the Broncos and the Seahawks. And I'm on the wrong side of that. Finally, though, my guys are able to get some pass rush here, and we eventually get him in the back of the end zone for a sack. Hey, I'll take the points. My defense has put up nine points. My offense, zero. What do you know? Next drive on offense now. The read option's starting to work. We get the corner with Walter Payton. He picks up eight here. Very next play, Chris Johnson gets the first down, and maybe we've still got a prayer. If we can keep playing some decent defense, and, you know, possibly, you never know. Play action here, QB Walter takes off, he keeps the ball, and he is gonna go all the way for a touchdown. That 100 speed finally coming into play, breaks away for a long touchdown run, definitely my favorite play of the game there. Ensuing drive, our defense stops him on third and two there, now it's fourth and five, and are we gonna be able to make the stop? Nope. Shannon Sharp comes underneath, gets a big first down for him. I could have possibly put up some points there on that drive. I was definitely in his side of the field there. Another dropped interception there by my defense. And man, it, it almost just felt like there was something preventing me from making plays in this game. Uh, it, no matter what I did, it seemed like his team was making great plays and my guys were just playing like crap. It was extremely frustrating, just time after time after time. He's getting in long third down situations and he's converting over and over again. I mean, just look at this. Jerry Rice, just the same type of patterns and my guys just aren't there to make the plays. We're not getting any interceptions. And, you know, that's kind of what's been the catalyst for us winning so many of these games. And in this one, it just didn't happen. He was able to run out the clock by just picking up first down after first down. He wins the Super Bowl, but hey, I'm walking away with my head held high. I think I did pretty well for my first ever season on this game. I haven't played Madden in years, and I'm looking forward to season two. Hopefully you guys will watch with me. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given to me. Thank you so much for watching all this series. And again, I'm gonna look to give you guys a Super Bowl victory in season two. We're moving up to the rookie second string division. It's gonna be a little bit tougher, and I know that I need to improve. And that's what I'm going to be looking to do. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please press that like button below. And if you could leave a comment or subscribe to my channel as well, I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.